us when are we going to feel some relief? Yeah, tomorrow is when things start to get a little bit better and then we'll be tracking temps around 80 degrees. But today these again hot temperatures and conditions are going to fuel a chance for storms. Timing of this probably around 3 to 9 p.m. give or take. It does depend on what a bit on where exactly you are. And today's a bit weird. It's sometimes the weather's weird and this is just how it is. A bit frustrating, I know, but this is how it is. What I'm expecting is there's going to be a small little storm that pops up somewhere in our general upper Midwest neighborhood, probably in North Iowa somewhere, that flares up into a large bow echo over time with damaging winds as it moves east. That could be west of us, and then we're dealing with it, or it could be east of us, and then we're not dealing with it. That's why we're a little bit uncertain about the exact location. Because things are so hot and humid, things just like to bubble up, so it's kind of wherever that bubble pops up first. That sets the stage for where the severe weather will be. Uh, but we're, what we do know is that once that flares up, things are set. So we're dealing with damaging winds for some of the upper Midwest. That will be a great concern. Let's bring it to this morning. You're stepping out the door. You're not concerned about storms yet. You're just concerned about the you know, kind of the heat probably this afternoon. Be sure to bring a water bottle out the door. Some sunglasses. We've got some sunshine moving in from the west. There's a front right here which is going to act as the focus for storms. Again, one of those tiny little storms flaring up and then it turns into a much larger storm over time. Temps right now around 70 degrees as just happened out the door. Dew points are in the mid 60s. It is very sticky outside. It is still going to be a very humid day this afternoon. Heat advisories are back. I'll show you where it's in North Iowa. Temperatures are in upper 60s, low 70s right now. This afternoon, though, much hotter. It's going to be 88 around 3, 4, 5 p.m. in Rochester, 90s along I-90 or around 90 degrees. And then we're in the low to mid 90s in North Iowa, much warmer on the other side of that front. And this is where the chances for severe weather are going to be a little bit better. It's also where we could see the heat index, the feels like temperature, return to 100 degrees this afternoon. So for places like Rochester, where the temperature is going all the way up to the upper 80s, it's going to feel like the mid 90s, still very hot. But for places like Mason City, it could feel like 100 or 102 again this afternoon. Let's talk about that chance for severe weather. We know it's going to be a hot day. We know what to do with that because we had yesterday. Again, be sure to drink plenty of water, give yourself some breaks. Now the severe weather, though, is fueled by all this hot and humid conditions. Large area of a three out of five risk from the Storm Prediction Center. We haven't seen one this high in quite some time. It's been months. This, again, could start to our west. Tiny little storm flares up as it pushes east. It expands into a large bow echo. I'll just kind of show you what I mean right here. This computer model kicks up a tiny little storm right here at 3 p.m. in Winnebago County. At the moment at 3 p.m. it's not much, but an hour later, boom, it starts to flare up into a much more scattered system which is starting to try and get itself going. You have winds high up in the atmosphere which are pushing from behind, a rear inflow jet as we call, which is pushing really strong wind gusts, potentially 60 miles per hour or greater along the front, uh, really the bow echo of this system. And then a couple hours later, look at that. Yeah, that starts to roll into eastern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, Chicago. But if that little tiny storm in Winnebago County happens to our west, then we're dealing with that. That's the risk we're dealing with today. So you can stay with us all day into the afternoon at, on air and online as we track that chance. There's also the possibility that it happens to our east. And then actually, you know what? We're fine this afternoon. So you can still make plans to get outside this afternoon. But if you want a better opportunity to, the weekend is calling your name. 8280, low humidity starting Saturday afternoon through Sunday. A gorgeous opportunity to get outside before we get a little bit more heat and humidity return next week. Glad things are leveling out just in time for the weekend. Exactly. Thanks, Sean. New charges and a